Good day all, welcome back to Cruising Classics YouTube channel. Today we have for you a gigantic, tall, beautiful GMC Sierra circa 1991. We love these OBS trucks here at Cruising Classics because we know you do too. This one comes to us with a lot of modifications and a lot of cool stuff to dig into. It is one heck of a truck. I know we're not going to have this one for long. Like I said, it's a 91. It's a Sierra <clears throat> made by GMC. And this is a, uh, a K1500. So it is a four-wheel drive truck. Comes to us with a respray of white paint in good driver condition. Gleaming bumpers, both front and back. Got a nice black chin spoiler down here on the front. Nice grill surround, clear headlights. Got a little bit of bling on the sides to spice things up. We've got wheel lip molding, got a little silver trim on that black body side molding there, and dual chrome side mirrors. It's on a six inch lift kit uh, with, uh, with Bilstein shocks. I'll show you down here. There's the Bilsteins. And those are relatively new. That was done about three years ago. Most of the work on this truck was about three years ago. You can see we've got Moto Metal aluminum alloy rims look real nice in black and we've got these maxis razor tires on here that are in excellent condition they are ready to go rock crawling moving on down the side you'll see that somebody has thoughtfully added a step making it easier to get in and out of it because with the six inch lift kit it is a pretty tall truck back here in the back you can see we've got a tonneau cover. That is from Truxedo. It's a rollback tonneau cover. And you can see here that we've got really nice tie downs on the side. You can tell it's been line X coated inside. I'll pop the tailgate here for you in a second, but you can see the bed rails are done in line X. Looking down here, we've got another chrome bumper with a nice rubber topper for standing up on top of loading. And we've got a tow kit on the back so you can haul whatever you'd like to haul you can see here we've got a 4,000 pound trailer max load and 400 pound tongue load big bright GMC logo on the back and inside fully lined by line X with spray on bed liner that stuff will last for years keep that truck looking so nice Moving around to the passenger side. Looks the same as the driver's side with one exception. These really nice chrome exhaust tips dropping down out of here. It is a single exhaust, but it's got this dual tip on it. it does have headers and the stainless exhaust is new on there, about three years old, same as the rest of the components, which is about 2000 miles ago from what I can put together. This truck does have a clean Carfax spent most of its life down in Kentucky just south of us we're in Columbus Ohio here and the excitement is just about to get started because when I lift this hood that's where the meat and potatoes of this thing is we'll be right back with the hood open and we are back underneath the hood of the 1991 GMC Sierra K1500 and there is a lot to see here in this engine bay. Tidy, neat, clean, and organized. Back in 2021, the engine that was in the truck was taken out, and in its place, they put in a Crate 383 Stroker. And it is built on top of that. It's got a Chevy high performance cam, it's got aluminum roller rockers, all kinds of cool features, and yeah, a high, uh, high pressure oil pump. I mean, it is, it is loaded out. You'll find all those details in our ad. I went to great lengths to talk about the heads, to talk about all the specifics having to do with the engine. Uh, you'll see it does have headers right down here. It's got an Edelbrock aluminum intake. And underneath that Spectre air cleaner there is uh, an SPR Performance 650 CFM fuel injection 
unit. So it's got a, a throttle body on there doing the fuel injection and it fires right up. As soon as you turn the key, boom, no pump in the gas, no nothing. You can see we've got those really nice finned aluminum valve covers as well. Just great decisions made all throughout this engine bay. 134A air conditioning, blows ice cold. You can see over here, a new proportioning valve for the power brakes. In fact, that whole unit kind of looks new to me. It's new stainless steel lines for it. Front disc, rear drum, stops on a dime. You can see it is also a power steering truck, of course. Down here you can see the unit. And you can see the headers on this side as well. It's nice to have the courtesy light underneath here. Keeps things bright, allows you to work on it on the side of outside your garage if you needed to at night time. This engine is mated up to a 700 R4 transmission that was rebuilt right around the same time all of this was done, uh, about 2,000 miles ago, uh, back in 2020, 2021 time period. Uh, and we do have the receipts for all of this work. Uh, it's a whole folder full of them. And it doesn't look like it was done by a shop. It looks like if he had a shop do it, he bought all the stuff separately because everything was just bought, ordered all together. All the engine parts were special ordered together, same time from same company. Um, and you'll see all of that when you come to take a look at the truck. It's a beast though. Wait till you hear this thing fire up. It is one powerful ride. Speaking of, let's go ahead and hop in the cab so we can get started with starting it up. OEM door panels in really good condition. You can see here we've got power windows and power locks. The seat looks like new. No stains, no tears, no rips. 60-40 split. Very, very comfortable. Soft fabric. Very nice. You can see the carpets. Light gray. In very good condition. With some nice carpet slash rubber floor mats. I'm going to go ahead and move this seat forward because I want to show you back here the stereo system while I'm at it. Oops, sorry, i take this one second here. There we go. Well, I can show you part of it. I'm going to have to open the other side too. <clears throat> the stereo that's in the dash is an Alpine. Got AM, FM, CD, and Bluetooth. And the dash speakers, the original factory speakers, still work. But to that has been added two amplifiers and, and two 6x9s and a 10-inch subwoofer. And those are all from MTX Audio. Let's see here. One, two amplifiers, two 6x9s, and a 10-inch sub. It sounds unbelievable. It's so loud, it thumps the whole truck. I'll turn it on for you in a minute once we get the key in the ignition and show you. I just wanted to do the seat pulling forward before we go up and sit inside. You also notice in back there, you got a four panel rear glass window with sliders, real nice. All right, man, the seat's comfortable. Spectacular. You got seating for three up front, seat belts for three. Passenger side door panel looks just as nice as the driver's. Same thing with the passenger floor. This dash has no cracks in it. We're talking about a vehicle from 1991 here, and this dash looks absolutely spectacular. You can see there's that Alpine stereo. Ashtray down below. Kind of an interesting, well, cup holder, sorry. Well, I was thinking it's an ashtray. And glove box. Glove box contains the original owner's manual and the stereo manual. And we do have that folder of receipts, like I said, for all the work that was done to the engine, transmission, exhaust, etc. Drivers treated to a four spoke leather wrapped steering wheel. Nice hand feel. Horn works. <laughs> factory dash all the gauges are factory original and all of them work it does have cruise and intermittent wipers and i don't know if the cruise control still works that's one thing we haven't tested on it yet it does have it on the stock there but that doesn't mean it still works 
Here we have the climate control system with cold air conditioning, hot heat, a nice strong fan. A little slot to put your cassette tapes if you happen to like cassette tapes. And down here's our shifter for the four wheel drive. And it is shift on the fly. Um, you have to put it, put it in neutral and, and put your park brake on to move it into four low, as you can see. But you can shift between two high and four high just on the fly shifting. right now I want you to notice here that I won't use my foot because we do have that fuel injection here we go fired right up like a champ there is a lot to like about this big truck let me tell you sounds spectacular let's check out that radio real quick it's loud you'll have no problem hearing it no problem hearing it now we'll turn the air conditioning on and you hear the rpms drop as the compressor kicks in i'm going to go ahead and give it some more fan Nice cold air blowing out. Oh yeah, very, very nice. Let's go over to the passenger side where those tailpipes are and give a listen to this BV 383 stroker. does check all the boxes power all the way around power windows power locks power steering power disc front drum rear brakes hugely powerful drivetrain this truck is four by four it's got the tow package it's got the lift it's got the wheel tire combo there is so much to love about this 91 GMC Sierra Folks, if you'd like to give us a call, we would sure appreciate it. We're happy to answer any questions you've got about this truck. We can help get it shipped to your garage from our garage. We can help you get financing on it, and we're always here for your questions. You can reach us at 614-276-7355 at Cruising Classics in Columbus, Ohio. Again, that's 614-276-7355 at Cruising Classics in Columbus, Ohio. We've got this 91 Sierra K1500, four-wheel drive, 383 stroker, overdrive transmission, power, 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 and cold air. Can't beat that. Give us a call, 614-276-7355 at Cruising Classics. Thank you for joining us today. We'll be back again tomorrow with something else cool.